camping up there and um, we got completely snowed in. The walls of the tent started to bend inward and there is so much snow and um, we, we had to leave. We couldn't stay up there anymore. The tents were entirely covered with snow and uh, we got ourselves out of there and went through a crazy snowstorm. Tämä on näin muistelit. Kuovsahan Sabirra. Moo, min mattut. Mi jäädä Kuovsahas. Välte ja liikkaa ja tanssut. Min saapelat ja sielut. Mä täällä saivu. The only fear that I really constantly have in my life is the fear of not making enough out of life. You know, like not taking all the experience that I can, like maybe missing out on some crazy adventure. Passion is the driving force of life. But if you have this one thing you found where you really feel like this is my passion, this is what I want to do with my life, then it's really easy to be inspired, it's really easy to be motivated, and it's easy to get out of bed in the morning. The more you expose yourself to your fear, the less fear you have. The question of life and death is always there. Being mentally and physically so ready for it and so prepared that once you stand up, you're not afraid anymore. It really forces you to be in that moment. There's no past, there's no future, there's just that moment. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I will realize one day that it was not the way I should be. But today, it's totally the way I want to be and I want to act. I don't think I'm too different from most people. I just think maybe I'm a little bit foolish, maybe I'm a little bit more brave. Whatever it was, I got fed up and I wanted to go search for something else. Not many people are willing to give it all up in the pursuit of freedom. That was a sacrifice I was more than ready to make. In most projects that we are doing, we just want to set up a highline and then to walk it. But this time it's all about capturing something that has a quite low probability 
to appear and that means we always need to be ready to wait for a moment which we simply don't know if it's going to be there. We were up at the mountainside for like six, seven hours every day. When the snow was just coming down so hard and it was so much snowstorm that the tents were covered. People like doesn't know how to react and trying to help each other. It was really after like many hours of waiting that we finally got this like moment which we were actually waiting for. flows at the movement of the slack line. I'm at its mercy and it is at mine. I play with it, I fly, I dance. Freedom. My dream, I think I don't have like one dream. I just love living every day fully, like in the present, like today. <laughs> Go on adventure. Don't just sit behind the TV. There's nothing you're going to see there. It's going to be as good as an adventure out in the, in the world. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. The traveling, the projects like this, the personal growth, the friends. Oh my God, I wouldn't want to live without the friends that I've met through Slackline. I want others to realize that they can push themselves to leave their comfort zone. And it doesn't have to be the same thing. Overcoming fear is like doing things that are scary and new then you'll live and you'll grow inside and outside. The truth is that there was never really much certainty whether we would find what we were looking for here in Norway. And there were a lot of moments of frustration and suffering and doubts whether we would succeed when we were hiking up and down the mountain so many times. But then during this one night, when we were looking up at the sky and the clouds were finally lifting, it finally happened and the sky lit up with fire and the sky became alive in front of our eyes. 